Now, most of the elements naturally exist as mixtures of different isotopes. Thus, to obtain the relative atomic mass of an element, we need to calculate it based on the abundance of each of the element's isotopes. For example, in the Earth's crust, both uranium-235 and uranium-238 exist naturally. If we take a sample of the crust and measure the uranium isotope's quantities, 99% is uranium-238 and only 1% is uranium-235. Therefore, the relative atomic mass of uranium is calculated by multiplying the relative atomic mass by its abundance and adding the results. For copper, there are two stable isotopes, Cu-63 and Cu-65. Both of them are used as the ingredients for radiopharmaceuticals for diagnosing diseases. By knowing the abundance of each isotope, the relative atomic mass for copper can be determined. In our next video, we will learn about relative molecular mass and relative formula mass. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss a lesson.